Hi, welcome to the Guru Academy and Guru STEM Foundation YouTube channel. I'm Tewo Humloi and today we'll be taking a look into the KanAcademy.org platform. KanAcademy.org is an absolutely incredible, highly interactive learner management system founded in 2004 by Mr. Salman Khan. It initially only dealt with maths content, mainly through instructional videos and learner worksheets or activities that learners could compete online. And now it has evolved to become one of the most proficient, highly interactive learner management systems I know. It now also includes sciences in the form of physics, chemistry and biology or otherwise known as life sciences in the South African context, arts and humanities, reading and language arts, computing, economics and life skills. The KanAcademy.org LMS is an incredibly useful, highly interactive educational technology based teaching and learning platform through which both teachers and learners can have access to great instructional videos, notes, quizzes, various multiple choice and fill in the blanks type questions, mastery courses and lots lots more into one highly efficient gamified learning experience with points and badges for learners through their different stages of learning in Khan Academy. Today's tutorial will include firstly how to sign into Khan Academy, next the teacher dashboard, then we'll look into how to create a Khan Academy class and how to invite learners in your Khan Academy class, then how to assign work, assignments and other activities in your Khan Academy class, then we'll have a look into the learner dashboard and lastly we'll take a look into the mastery learning framework and how it all applies to the Khan Academy platform. How to sign in to Khan Academy? To sign in to Khan Academy, simply go to KhanAcademy.org and on the home page, click on the sign up button. As you can see, you have three options. You can join Khan Academy as a learner, a teacher, or parent. You can also fill in your date of birth, which is optional. At the bottom here, you can join a particular class using a class code. This will be one of the ways through which you can invite your learners to join your classes, which will be covered in detail later. And of course, if you already have an account, you can also click here to log in. Click on teacher. Then you can choose any of these options to join. Click on continue with Google and select your account. Then voila! You will be taken straight into your Khan Academy dashboard. If it's your first time, Khan Academy will ask you to fill in some details that will help them configure some things in your dashboard for you and get you on your way. As an added bonus, remember you can also access all this through the Khan Academy app and use any Android or Apple device which makes it even more convenient. On the teacher dashboard, you have your classes showing you all your classes in Khan Academy, students showing you all your students, and thirdly, you have access to various resources that will help you familiarize with Khan Academy, know what they are about and how to use the platform. There are also such resources for students, parents and mentors, and you also have Khan's out of school programs. On any page, you have access to this courses button, which brings up all the courses offered by Khan Academy per category. And of course, you can also search for anything specific that you might want to use with your learners. To access your dashboard from any page, just click on your username on the top right corner of the page and select Teacher Dashboard. To create a new class, you can just simply click on Add New Class. Then you can add the name of the class. And if you already have a Google Classroom set up, you can also click here to import any of your classes from Google Classroom. Then click on Next. Then you can select the content subject that your class will be learning. And that's it. Just like that, your class will be in your teacher dashboard with all your other classes. To invite learners into your classes, after creating the class, click on the class. Then click on the Add New Students button. As you can see, you have three options. Firstly, you can invite your Google Classroom, wherein you can choose to invite learners from any of your Google Classrooms, and they will get an email inviting them to join the class. You also have the Students Join with a Class Link option. 
And as you can see, you can email or share a link or have your students use a class code. Here's the link and the class code. Thirdly, you can create your students' accounts yourself. Enter the learner's names and Khan Academy will make passwords that you can customize and assign to your learners. I also recommend you click on this highlighted text to download a sample parent notice available in multiple languages from Khan Academy which you can easily customize and send to your learner's parents or guardians for their consent. After opening any of your classes in Khan Academy, on the left of the page, you have the following tools. The Activity Overview, which gives you an overview of all your learners' activities on the Khan Academy platform in the last 7 days, 30 days, or any custom range of time you'd like to look into. This shows you all your learners' total learning in minutes, skills leveled up, and any skills without progress. Next, we have the Course Mastery, which is a continuous assessment tool in every unit contained in all Khan Academy subjects or courses. The idea with this is that your learners can complete various parts of the Course Mastery activities relevant to various lessons and topics. To assign a Course Mastery activity to your learners, just simply click on Placement. Then click on create goal. As you can see, you can select the course and the students you want to set this course mastery task for. And of course, you can also set a due date for the course mastery task. You can also click here to monitor your learner's progress on the course mastery task. Then you can provide any extra support that may be required by your learners accordingly. Next we have assignments and to assign an assignment to your learners, simply click on assignment, then assign. You will then be given a number of options within the subject and grade level that you chose earlier when creating the class. So if you selected Algebra 1 for example, it will show you all the units entailed in that course each unit with various lessons in it and you can just simply click on this checkbox to assign any of the lessons or activities or even the entire unit for your learners to do as an assignment remember each lesson has a number of videos articles and exercises for the learners to do then click on assign to assign the work to your learners as an assignment in assigning the work to your learners, you can either choose to set different questions for each student where different questions will be shown to each learner in random order or show the same set of questions in the same order to all your learners. As you can see, you can set the start date and time and also the due date and times for each assignment. Then either choose to save it as a draft or assign now, which will immediately send it to your learners as an assignment for them to do. Then in scores, you can monitor your learner's scores on all the completed assignments. Then under manage, you can have an overview on all the assignments, the number of learners that have completed each assignment and their overall progress. Next, we have admin which is not for us teachers then students where you can see all your learners in all your Khan Academy classes lastly we have settings where you can access and change your class info course and access other more technical settings after joining Khan Academy your learners will be taken to their learner dashboard on the left hand side of the Alena dashboard, of particular interest to them should be the Assignments tab, wherein they can click to access all the assignments, both active and past, and also have the option to click and start working on them immediately. In case they miss anything, remind your learners to also check on their past assignments under the Past tab. Completed past assignments will show whatever score that the learners achieved on their previous assignments. 
Once they get started, the learners will have to go through a number of the videos, articles and other activities that are entailed in that lesson. Next, we have courses, wherein they can click to access all their courses and classes in Khan Academy. Then the SAT, where they can practice the SAT. Progress, where they can click to monitor their own progress on all the assignments assigned to them. Then Profile, where they can click to track their profile on Khan Academy. And lastly, we have teachers, where they can see all their class teachers on Khan Academy. At this point in this tutorial, I think it would help a great deal to explore mastery learning as a framework or otherwise a lens through which you can look at teaching and learning on platforms like Khan Academy. Mastery learning was first formally introduced by Benjamin Bloom in 1968 and in essence refers to learners mastery of prerequisite knowledge before them moving on to learn any subsequent information. Mr. Sal Khan strongly advocates for mastery learning and has used it as the sort of cornerstone upon which the Khan Academy platform is built. Teaching and learning in Khan Academy prioritizes learner mastery over rate of content coverage and test scores. It prioritizes personalized and varied paced learning since we are all different and will learn at different rates over fixed paced with variable understanding outcome based learning. Regular learner assessments reveal their knowledge gaps and misconception which then obviously leads to the attainment of variable test scores. In traditional education, learners progressing to the next topic or grade is prioritized over their mastery of the basic and fundamental concepts. Numerous studies have shown how these knowledge gaps can impede learner conceptual understanding in future topics and learners are bound to hear a war as the cumulative effect of all these gaps acquired through their learning presents a huge obstacle and they get stuck frustrated and in Mr. Khan's words start thinking they don't have the maths G. In traditional education, factors such as time, teaching resources, learning resources, learner assessment and others would render personalized mastery teaching almost impossible. However, lots of studies have shown how the use of computers and other ICTs in education can provide viable alternatives to most of the aforementioned challenges. For example, in a traditional classroom, it would be difficult for a teacher to hand out 30 different assessments to 30 different learners, all customized to each learner's specific needs, which may be different to any other learner's needs. However, with the use of computers and other ICTs, this would literally be a couple of clicks and maybe with some scrolling a bit, and that would be it. Learners can learn at their own pace and when needed, teachers can reteach and subscribe more supportive materials to help them really master each one of these topics before moving on to the next. Although learners can take more time in mastering a particular level or aspect of study, mastery in that level of study may help them spend much less time in understanding other topics in the future. And all the time lost in mastering the fundamentals earlier would be essentially regained in the future. Mastery learning has been shown to cultivate learner motivation and also address issues of learner diversity in group instruction. And Khan Academy does a brilliant job at all this and much, much more.